Okay, so this is the Crossley record storage grate. Yeah, it's basically a, a nice grate where you can store records, but you can also store other stuff if you want to, right? But it it looks really nice and like you know with records and old stuff, uh, it, it suits very well. It's also toolless, so you don't really need any kind of tools to assemble it. I'm going to open it, show it to you how to assemble it, and then you know also give give a little bit about review about what I think of this product. Okay. So as soon as I open it, right, you have this thermocall boxes to keep everything and then you have this manual and this all of this packed in nicely and neatly. You can see it's very very well packed and you're not really worried about, I'm not really worried about getting, you know, hurt in any way or getting distracted. So, you know, or they getting, getting any scratches in any way. So let me remove them one by one and show it to you. Okay, so I removed all the panels. And on one of the panels you will see this black um, so in one of the panels you will see these black things these are supposed to be at the bottom right so you can put it like this here okay next you want you want is you have these two panels right this solid panels they are supposed to be the front and back panels uh, but how do you figure out which is what well um, the one which has this crossly design is the front and the other one is the back. So obviously what you want is you want the crossly design to be outside, right? So you want it somewhere here or here. Either way it does not really matter. Okay, so what is the simple trick to understand? Well, you want this crossly on the outside, right? So you can notice this crossly on the outside. I'm going to put it, put this inside here like this. I will have to apply a little bit of force initially and then I am going to slide it. So, put it inside, right? When I put it inside, you can see there is like a small gap here. It's not slide because you are supposed to slide it. So, apply some force on one side and slide it. Okay? So, once you slide, right, it will match it exactly. And I am going to do the same thing on the other side. Once again, know that this part which sticks outside is supposed to be on the outside. So, once again, See what I'm doing. I'm putting this thing inside. You have to apply a little bit of a force, definitely. Um, it is very, very snug, very, very tight fit. Okay. 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 So this one was a little bit difficult, definitely. But if you notice here, once I did this, there's a small gap here because it's supposed to slide in. So I'm going to push it, push it inside. So this is still not in completely. So let me make sure that this is completely inside, and then I'm going to slide it. Okay. Okay. So this went, uh, the one which just says crossly went in quickly. But number two, you're supposed to fit. It did not go in smoothly. I had to apply, use a hammer to put it in a little bit. Okay. So you can see once, once you, it goes in, you have to slide it. And you can see that once you slide it, it should fit properly. It should match. Same is true for the back side, right? You can see now it matches. But I did have to uh, use a hammer to get it to match. So I know they say with no tools, but for me, I definitely require a little bit of tools to be honest, uh, because one of the side was very very tightly fixed. Now now talk about the sides, right? Once again, you have a very very special scenario where you can see this one side as this outermost thing. You want them to be outside here like this, and uh, same is true for the other side as well, where. The one side which has this special stuff, you want it to be on the outside. So, now you are going to put it here like this. Match the holes and put it inside here. And same I am going to do it here. Let me quickly show you for one of them. So you can see this side it, it is going in easily. Um, let me take a second here. Oh, maybe I used the wrong side. Yep, sorry. Okay. 
Oke. Okay. Oke, okay, so that was I think that was wrong. Uh, so on one side it is completely flat. If you notice here, and on the other side there is like a little bit of an indentation. And this indentation is going to the top and it is going to go inside. So notice this here, you can see this is completely flat part. They want it to be outside and this part to be inside and it should be on the top. So like this. So just put it in. Yeah. And then slide it in. And notice now the flat part matches. Because it, it went in easily. Right? And same on this side here. I'm going to I'm going to put this inside here. You can see this one went inside. And now I'm going to put this one inside and then just slide it in. Okay, so this one slid in easily. And now your your box is ready. You can start putting stuff in. Now, why is this like now if you notice inside here, the records are going to be placed not on this bottom but also on this side here. So what I mean by that is the record won't fall down because the, this, this is made to the sides of records and records are like fit perfectly snugly in here. So they won't go inside and they will stay here like this. So was it easy to make? Yes, no screws, nothing. And you should not really need a stool, but in my case, I definitely found one which had a little bit of a snug fit, which basically required. Now when I put it on the floor, not on the carpet, here like this uh, if you notice it is actually fairly it's, it's not it's not bouncy it is fairly straight which is nice so you can place this comfortably start putting records etc inside um, so yeah overall a nice product that required a little bit of work but I think it is okay there is always a little bit of uh, you know when you are trying to make it snug fit there is always a little bit of even a slight mismatch where you have to apply force which I did have to on one of them but everything else went smoothly. So it does what it says and they are very happy with it. Okay, thank you.